Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a real time get ready with me again. You guys absolutely loved this video when I last did it, so I wanted to do it again. And let me know your thoughts on this, but I think I want to do it like pretty regularly, like maybe weekly or something like that because, I don't know, I really enjoy these videos and it's like a simple way to do it as well. So just let me know. This is the beat for today. Pretty simple, pretty cash, pretty glam. If you guys would take one second out of your day and subscribe to my channel, that would be so great. Um, because then the family can grow and the family can dominate the world and that would be incredible. Also be sure to give this video a like and comment down below anything. I don't know, comment how long it takes you guys to get ready. Like this is like a moderate beat, you know, like it's not like a full beat, but it's not like a light slight. Oh my god, there's like a bug. Oh my god, I'm like skeeved out now. It's probably my hair. Okay, well now I'm grossed out. Um, there was something else I wanted to say, but now I forget because a stupid bug got my way. I don't remember. Okay, well let's get on to the video. Let's get started. So I'm first starting off by priming my face. This is the First Day Beauty smoothie coconut skin moisturizing primer thing. I'm obsessed with it. If you guys have watched my videos, you guys know that I am really into it. And I'm also into putting oils on my face. I used to be like, so ew, oils on my face look so ew. But like, I, I don't know, like I'm really loving the do. You know, if you guys watch my videos, you know that I like more of a matte look, but lately like the glowier, the more I'm into it. I don't know what really changed, but I'm just loving the do. Um, so this is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation and I'm putting that all over. Don't mind me texting, this is really what I do when I get ready. This is the point of the whole video, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, I text, text, text. I don't even know who I'm texting in this. Um, I think I was texting my mom, probably was. I always talk to my mom. <laughs> this is the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. I really like this concealer. It's like really lightweight and it's nice. I think it has a good natural finish. I think it's a good coverage and it doesn't feel heavy. So I really like this. Try it out. Um, I'm going to be baking light baking with the RC Mino color powder and my beauty blender is damp, which is something that I don't really do. But lately I've been liking the feel of it on my face. Is that kind of weird? <laughs> then I'm going to go on with a powder that matches my skin tone and now I'm gone for a while. This is where I go get my products and then bring them back over my filming table. If I'm on my vanity, I normally don't do that because, you know, my products are right next to me. But when I'm filming, I have to go get them and then bring them to my table. Um, this is the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit. It just looks so good. Like, just literally look how good it makes my face look. Ugh, I look sun-kissed and gorge. I think this is Soft and Gentle by MAC or Champagne Pop by... Um, Becca. I forget which one it was, but it looks really good regardless and I love it. Um, I've been really into like pinky blushes lately. Also, I just want to say please excuse how dirty my sweatshirt is. This morning was just like, <laughs> it was a mess. I was cooking this morning so I got a lot of like food on my sweatshirt and it's also just like stained from earlier in that morning. It's just a mess. It's in the wash now, so fear not. It is getting cleaned as we speak, but it's like disgustingly dirty. It's like embarrassing that I even put it in this video, but I wasn't gonna go change because I'm lazy. But I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I started by using the e.l.f. eyebrow kit because I did my makeup starter kit with this and I really, really liked it. But as I was like doing it, I was kind of like, you know what, I think I'm going to switch it back to my normal products. Um, but the e.l.f. eyebrow kit is really nice. Wait, actually, no. I never switched it back. This is using the entire e.l.f. eyebrow kit the next day I switched in between products. Sorry. This is using just the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. But as you guys can see, it's really nice and it's only $3 and it worked out really well. I wanted to try it for the video to like tell you guys my honest thoughts about it and I really like it. I think it's a really good kit. I'd recommend, again, it's $3, literally. It's so inexpensive and I'm also just using Benefit um, Gimme Brow over top of it. Let's see, what am I doing here? Getting products, who's surprised? Not me, when am I ever gonna come back? Here I am, doesn't my hair look like so much drier than it did like a minute ago? <laughs> In this, I'm using the Morphe 350. Literally, I don't think I use any other palette. Like, I'm seriously obsessed with it. I need to stop because you guys are definitely getting bored, so I need to use a different palette. I'm honestly just mixing in a bunch of browns 
and warm tone shades and then I go in with a super sparkly gold on my lid but I diffuse it out and it looks more natural. Um, but yeah, it's just three colors, a neutral brown in the crease, a warmer brown on the outer corner and then a orangey gold on my lid. Blend that all out and then I smoke a little bit of black shadow on my upper lash line and I smoke the crease colors on my lower lash line, put a little highlight on my brow bone and white on the inner corner and then call it a day. That's the eyeshadow. So simple. Put a little black eyeliner on my waterline. What else do I do? When in doubt, black eyeliner it. Seriously, it's the life motto. And you guys can already tell this has been 36 minutes of me doing my makeup already. Like, that's so pathetic. <laughs> Am I okay? Just kidding. I told you guys though, normally it's like I take much longer than 40 minutes. My last video was 40 minutes and that was, that was short. Um, then I go in with a little bit of Masky. This is L'Oreal Telescopic, just on the uppers. And this look is really pretty without fake eyelashes, but you guys know me and I use fake eyelashes every day. So these are Ardell Wispies. What else? You guys really want me to try the Kiss lashes, so I am going to try those out and let you guys know what I think. Um, I hear really good things, so I'm pretty excited to try it out. Um, but yeah, so right now these are our Dell Wispies and they just look so good. Like they seriously just complete the look. I think they look natural and glam and just really, really nice. And then I'm just blending in a little bit more with a black eyeliner and just touching them up, seeing how they look. And then add a little bit of bottom lash mascara to the lower lashes, obviously, and smoke it out. Honestly, lower lash mascara completes a look. Today I'm not wearing lower lash mascara, but it's like super weird feeling and I'm watching this video back and I'm like, I wish I had my lower lash mascara on. But I tried to do like an Instagram model look today, so I can do a video on that if you guys want. But besides the point, I then put on a nude lip gloss or nude lipstick called it a day because I'm gonna put lip gloss on after I dry my hair because I hate the feeling of my hair in my lip gloss. That's literally the worst thing ever. Blow dry my hair, it only takes me like a few minutes because my hair is pretty much dry. Um, I just kind of have to go through and make sure that it's dry. I hate blow drying my hair because it makes it like puffy and it makes it look really thin. Um, like it looks full, but every hair like feels really thin. Do you guys know what I mean? So I don't really like blow drying my hair, but I do it when I'm in a rush and when I have to get ready for something. I prefer to have my hair air dried though. Also, for anyone that says, you know, like, oh, your hair is straight. Why do you straighten it? Look at my hair right now. It is puffy. This is a puff ball. Like, I look like I'm in a field of flowers and I'm like that dandelion daisy thing that everyone blows on because it is puffy and that my hair would just fly away in the wind. Like, it is puffy. It's not cute. <laughs> so I go in and I straighten it here. You guys have seen me straighten my hair before, but I get a lot of requests to do a how I straighten my hair video and honestly this is it. I just sectioned up and I kind of just go to town and straighten it. Nothing too special. I need to get my roots done though so I'm going to book an appointment for that. Seriously, as soon as I'm done this voiceover I'm going to call my salon and get my roots done because they're bad and they need to be done. Tori, stop texting. Do your hair. Ugh, why do I do this? Like just do my hair. There we go. I section off a little bit more. Oh my God, I'm back to texting. Someone stop me. Someone like just take my phone and literally never give me it back because it's bad. Straight, 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 straight. Oh, this day I was going to New York, so I was very stressed out because I had to film another video after this, edit, upload that video, pack. Yeah, I was pretty stressed out. I was probably talking to my mom though, or, or I don't know, my manager maybe. I talked to a lot of people. Okay, straighten my hair, yada, yada. And then that's pretty much it. Yay, I'm done. An hour later, yay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and also be sure to check out my last real time get ready with me. That is right here. Yeah, it's right here my, is my last real time get ready with me. And then I have a little special other video picked for you right here. So check that out as well. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.